Criminal Minds, Shamar Moore, come on now, and his matchmaking mom. I'm looking for the mother of my grandchildren. I don't mind being daddy, but not that kind of daddy. And she sends him a special message. Ooh, we. Then it's True Blood's Deborah Ann Wall. Who contacted who? You contacted me. Her inspiring love story. Are you ultimately going to go blind? That's a for sure. I do look at her body a lot. <laughs> I'm recently married. I work with my wife on this show, and I'm learning how to be a dad to two amazing kids in a blended family. <laughs> I'm hosting a talk show because there's a lot to talk about. This is the adventure. Let's go. Welcome to the show. Big show today. Have a seat. Thank you very much. A little later, Deborah Ann Wall, who plays uh, Jessica Hamby on True Blood on HBO, is going to be here. With a really great story about her boyfriend, E.J. Scott. He's got this rare disorder that is causing him to go blind. And they're going to talk about their relationship and how they're not going to let that slow them down. They're a very cool couple. But first, 20 years ago in Oakland, California, no one would have ever bet on our first guest making it in Hollywood. But now he makes the ladies swoon. So many women here today. And then the guys just have envy, like me. Shamar Moore is in his eighth year on the CBS show Criminal Minds. Roll it! Shamar Moore first found fame as Malcolm Winters on The Young and the Restless. Oh, Lord have mercy on me. Where it seemed like there was always an excuse for him to take off his shirt. Count him one, two, three, four, five, six. He also hosted the legendary variety show, Soul Train. Coming at you straight out of the Big Apple, I want you to meet a truly gifted young lady. Please welcome, as fine as she wants to be, Miss Alicia Keys. Starred in feature films. It's so easy to say no, sometimes out of fear. So how about just taking the hard road and saying yes? Just this one time. Please welcome Shamar Moore. Hey guys, see, the difference between the way you're greeted and I'm greeted is right... Okay, I gotta say though, I'm sitting backstage, I know, I know, you know, I know they normally play a clip, but I had no idea that it was gonna be, this is your life. This was like, this, this went back, like, I mean, there's pictures in there I haven't seen, and I, I thought I'd paid a lot of money to have them hidden forever. <laughs> I My mean, favorite was the Soul Train. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow. You know Look what? That. I, you know, my... my I know, that's just... Oh, that's wow. Good, that's it, good. it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. It's, well, uh, here's I mean, the thing, Shamar. This is what I always think of when you see a clip or a photo that you're embarrassed by. On that day, you knew you had it going on. No, no, my stylist told me I had it going <laughs> on. And then all my friends after the fact were like, you didn't have nothing going on. Well, I think she was borrowing Lenny Kravitz clothes, giving to me, and I, it just was all bad. What, what, it what was all this? bad. I mean, there were, literally, women were like, I gotta take my sweater off. Yeah, Mars coming out. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I mean, what is that like? Come on, don't I don't tell no, no, no. no. Here's the difference. Huh. Before I come out, you got some... the dimples, you all chiseled up. I mean, you know. <laughs> but I, I like women. I, I'm good, but you got you got your own little swag going on. You know? I do I'm show sure my can... wife. I do have a hot wife. See, you, you got a hot wife. You did all right. Yeah. Oh, see? See. It's oh, all yeah. good. The, the pro's house. Oh yeah. Oh. So, all right, so we go through all this life, you know, and everything. We're on the same network. Our shows are back to back. Cool. And um so you hit Criminal Minds, and that's a, a big deal. Take me back to the beginning, though. I'm so fortunate to have been able to do the things I've done, from Soul Train to Young and the Restless, to now Criminal Minds, and a bunch of things in between. But I can tell you, um, I, was, I graduated from Santa Clara University, 
Long story short, went to New York City because I didn't want to wear a suit and tie for a living if I didn't have to. Nothing against the people who do, but I just, I wanted, my first dream was to play professional baseball. So, and then I hurt my, I hurt my knee in college and that kind of fell apart and I'd been playing around with some modeling stuff. I was doing the, the Mervins and Macy's ads at JCPenney. I was that guy, you know, I was like, you know, the back to school special guy. Um, I did some modeling, this, that, and the other, and I, I came, I, got, I did a GQ ad, and it was not, not some fancy, you know, beautiful cover shot, it was Black Man's Guide to Skin Care, and it was, <laughs> and it was like six little pictures, six little thumbna thumbnail pictures of me showing African American men how to avoid getting razor bumps. And so this I, was in GQ. This is in GQ on like page 69 and a half, you know. <laughs> and uh, and it was so it was just it was like five little pictures of me, you know, it was called Black Men's Guide to Skincare. And then my my agent who wasn't my agent at the time, my first agent in Hollywood, I had no idea who he was. He just happened to have a subscription to GQ magazine. I was in New York hustling, you know, broke as a joke, working at a coffee shop, trying to get people to take my picture. Nobody would take my picture. I refused to leave until somebody took my picture. So finally, GQ did this thing with me and a couple other magazines. I didn't make any money, but I got a little bit of exposure. Right. So that was the trick in the game. They saw this ad. They knew that Young and the Restless was looking for Mountain. That led Mountain. to Young and the Restless? They, they called my modeling agencies, all this. So I was like, is this a joke? And he's like, do you have any acting ability? Would you be interested in auditioning for a soap opera? Drove down to Los Angeles on April Fool's Day. It was a Friday. On, on Saturday and Sunday, I spent, I knew I needed, I needed help. So I got, he got me an acting coach. And that acting coach is Steven Anderson. And 19 years la later, he is still the reason that I have the career wow. that I have today. Wow. Um, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. And we're going to meet the woman who has Shamar's heart. And it's nobody in this audience. We'll be right back. Now, Shamar, are you are you nervous right now? I'm waiting to see what she's willing to say on television. So do you? <laughs> oh. For seven years, I've been riding a bicycle to support my mother, to fight against multiple sclerosis, through my career and through my celebrity. I can do something that's bigger than myself. I can do something that not only helps my mother, but it helps other people uh, that are less fortunate or who often feel like they don't have a voice. So it's, it's really a big deal. It's a journey, and it's, it's just fuel to the fire of a fight that needs to be fought. Yeah, the woman clapping the loudest is Shamar's mom, Marilyn, who is joining us. Marilyn, when I said at the last last segment, I said the guy, the woman who has Shamar's heart, about 50 women went, oh, man. <laughs> so you're still in the running. It's his mom. So where did the bike riding, where did that whole idea come to raise awareness and, and fundraising for MS? I've, I've played sports my whole life, you know, uh, uh, baseball was my thing, every sport you can think of as a kid. And then I got into, uh, in college days, I got into um, like mountain biking and cross biking. So I've, I've just kind of d dabbled in all different kinds of sports. And so they found out that my mother was you know, struggling with MS and uh, they came to me one day and said, you know, we can, we can ride bikes and still have a good time and raise money wow. uh, for, for people like your mom and I was like I, you know I did some homework I said show me the way and then all of a sudden you know this is our we just a month ago did our seventh year in a row as a criminal minds team mm. it's about 60 of us strong from the show from men to women to athletes to non-athletes some people look good in the tight some people don't look so good in the tight <laughs> you know it doesn't matter uh, yeah but we all we um, once a year we once a year and and mom's like she's like Shema Shema all these men are in tights for me and I'm like yeah, I'm like, yeah that's the way to what's look at it what's that like for you <laughs> it's it's one thing for a son to be able to do for his mom but what's it like for a mom to have a son do for her it's a real shift in roles it's not the way it started out but I have to say the first MS ride I'm sure it brought me to tears, but I remember going home and thinking, you know, you have certain days in your life, but this, this counts among them one hand. Oh, it's wow. really special. Oh, really special. that is beautiful. Not only him, but all the cast came yeah. out. It was just a lot of support. What's your proudest moment with your, with your relationship with your mom? Um, I mean, there's so many as far as me and mom. I mean, this is, you know, I grew up with just my mom. And uh, she, she persevered and she, she thought outside the box in the way she lived life. I mean, my, I'm 
I've learned so much from this woman just in the way that she's taken on life, just the, the, the risk she's take, to, taken. Um, she left the so-called nest and, and went west at a, at a very turbulent time, and she wanted to help civil rights and, you know, in the late 60s. And without the mindset that she had, I wouldn't have life. And, uh, and, uh, Wow, the, there's the, the a fast great photo of you right there. Wow, yeah. that is beautiful. You, you know what's funny about that is is she always teased me that I was the little girl that she never had. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't know if I think I'm being funny putting lipstick on or she talking. That but, is beautiful. Yeah, that's me with my little my little buckwheat hair and my afro puff. Now that's you little. surprised your mom with with I some, did like a dream. I did. I did. My mother's my mother's favorite thing. Uh, in the world, uh, outside of me, I hope, um, <laughs> is the beach. She loves the beach. And so this, a year ago, right around Christmas time, um, I was able to bless my mom with uh, her own condo in Redondo Beach, um, her home. And I don't know, you, it's, I think it's better, it, it was the proudest, it was just, you know, for all that she's done for me, I mean, I'm 42 years old, I mean, and as I alluded to, just, uh, we've, we've done so much in our lives, we lived out of the country for six years, um, she's highly educated, highly driven, you know, she was my, super, she is my superwoman, and, you know, uh, MS is somewhat of a, is a kryptonite in a way, but it, it will never break this woman, because she's, she's so just stubborn and hard-headed and strong cracked a little bit but but you know we but uh hopefully this beach house and hopefully me pedaling on a bicycle will you know keep a smile on her face and keep her dancing in her kitchen and and you know feeling good about herself so mom it isn't enough that he's good looking now he's mr gave my mom a condo so I have a little, I don't have a man crush because I don't know him well enough, but I have some serious envy right now. That he can stand up here and say, yeah, and then I play, I was going to play pro ball, but I didn't, so then I did a soap and I, gee, what are the kind of, who, what's, the dating life gets a lot of interest in Hollywood, especially when you're a guy who's single and successful and handsome. Does it impact your life? Do people come up to you and say, is Shamar dating you because I have someone I'd like to introduce you to? You wouldn't believe what I get on Facebook. <laughs> what you get on Facebook? Yes. Oh, it's un I, and and I just look and I think I think probably some people who are maybe friends' daughters or something have sent me notes, but if I don't know your last name, mm -hmm. delete. I don't. What? I don't. I don't know how to use it. So I just. Now, I Shamar, just are you are you nervous right now that that mom is talking about the dating life because that's a, it's a touchy territory. It's not so much that I'm nervous because I know her pretty well. I, I, I pretty much know what's going to come out of her mouth. I'm just, I'm waiting to see what she's willing to say on television. So do you? <laughs> oh, well, mom. I, I mean, why don't you give them, would, would, why don't you give them your prerequisite, your, your list of, of necessaries for the woman that may end up in my life? What do you always tell me? I'm serious. It's a heart attack. This, I'm looking for the mother of my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, but, 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 now, now, look, okay, but if I, if I wanted to go out and just create grandbabies, that's, that's not all that hard, so, that's what do you, not acceptable. what, okay, that's so not that's, acceptable. so give us the list for that, I'm going to write it down, <laughs> and you'll make, you'll make sure it happens, well, I'm going to just keep it in my book, <laughs> yes, Shamar's mom says, <laughs> give them to me, do they, what, uh, do you care race? No, I don't care. Nope, about that. any race. No. How about um, age? I don't care about that as long as she's still in childbearing age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what about like? Okay, let's look at this. Brian, give us a shot of this of this girl. What's your name? Uh oh. No, right here in the front. The one who took her sweater off before the show started. <laughs> My name is Priscilla Lancaster. Okay, and now sh are you, how old are you? I'm 19 years old. Okay. So, oh. Turning 20 in two, in two weeks. I'm 20 in two weeks. Ooh. Yes. So, now you might be a little young. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's what everyone says. All my, all my, my, my parents and everyone. I'll that, give you 10 seconds. I don't to, mind to being daddy, pitch. but not that kind of daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. I'm you very got, mature for my age, so that's one thing. And and maybe when you're 30 and Shamar is 52, it'll be fine. Yeah. 42 and 20 doesn't work. Excuse me for a second. Okay. 
There he is. Go help your husband. Go help him. Help him. You're a beautiful couple. How are you? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, but we'll be right back with Shamar. Uh, that video messed me up a little bit. Um, yeah, no, I just, um, ooh, we, uh, yeah, no, no tough guy on Criminal Minds right now. My publicist is backstage going, no! So my mother just was like, Shamar! <laughs> and the whole way home, she's going, your publicist told you not to do that. <laughs> sound trivial oh it's just a photo shoot of you looking good on it yeah but the work you have to put in if you're going to put yourself out there you have to open yourself up to a lot of critique and criticism and i kind of developed and i don't mean this with any ego but i developed a reputation for having a six pack and, and being that fit guy and that's a tough reputation to have because now you got to maintain it now i was um we should probably tell people shamara that i was supposed to do that shoot with you and then i <laughs> I had a taping that day. You had, you had so many obligations. Yeah, I, I, I was the backup. I was, like the backup quarterback, you know. He did a great job. He's though. Tom Brady. I'm 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 Tebow. I'm how, Tebow. <laughs> how do you get? How do you? You know, it's always there's always talk for women about how to get in better shape. What do you What do you say to women if they want to get their man in better shape? What's the encouragement? Uh, don't have sex with him for about a month and <laughs> um, no I'm kidding um, no you know for women to tell their men I mean I think men or women you just you, I you need motivation you need you got to set goals which goes back to your suggestion don't have sex for a month well you know I mean you know it uh, the better the, the better shape you are the better your libido is the better the hanky panky between the sheets is going to be you know um, that's really all you have to say to a guy, <laughs> is get in better shape and you'll have a better time in bed. If that doesn't do it, nothing's going to. It's not easy. I, I'm not in shape like I was in that video. I'm, I'm not, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not in bad shape, but I have lived my life. No, but I'm telling you, my six-pack is like a, a, like a two-pack, maybe, if, if, if I hold my breath. If I hold my breath. It's like, look, there's a peak. There's a peak. There's a peak. Hey, come on, there, man. Now, Maybe now, I, Wait my, a minute. my publicist is backstage going, no! So my mother just was like, Shema! <laughs> and the whole way home, she's going, your publicist told you not to do that. <laughs> you know what it was? It was the collective energy of the women all interview going, no, no, no. And finally no. just overcame. But no, but seriously, I mean, I, I stay in shape. I mean, I'm on television. I mean, if you like what you see, I'm flattered. Um, Who but knew I, you were such an engaging storyteller? I just feel like I could just sit back here and just say, just keep talking, Shamar. We got an hour. We do have a very special uh, message, though, from mm -hmm. your biggest fan. Roll it. Shamar's been great since he was a very little boy. When he was a little, little guy, and they had to have cookies for school. I said, honey, let Mama show you how to make cookies. And since then, since Shemar was about eight, he's been the baker in the family. And he makes very good chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies. I remember one time when he was about three, and I was crying, and he just came over with some toilet tissue for me to wipe my face. What makes me proudest of Shemar is the way he treats people. That's very important. He treats people with respect. He just moved me from Northern California down here so that I would be closer to him. It was my birthday. Shamar had found a condo, and I'm not usually the one that goes for the most luxurious, <laughs> but this was perfect. He said, you know, you did it for me, now I want to do it for you. Shamar, in recent weeks, not just your buying the house, but just seeing you in your world, just the talents that you have that I never even imagined. I think of what it must have been like growing up with me. I'm so left-brained, and you're so creative, and you've made it all happen. Thank you. Thank you for pulling it together and for taking me along. Wow. I love you. I love you, Bruce. I love you, too. That's one of the most beautiful things that's happened on our show. Well, thank you. That really was. I didn't even know what to expect because I hadn't, I hadn't seen it. Oh. That was amazing. Thank you. Ah, that video messed me up a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I just, um, ooh, we. Uh, yeah, no, no tough guy on Criminal Minds right now. Um, 
thank you, Jeff Prost, and, and, and your, your folks to, for doing that, because I look at that, and you look so pretty. And, uh, you really touch. Shamar, what is that, what does that feel like? Because what she said that really struck me was when she said, I can't imagine what it was like growing up with me because I was so left brain. It was saying that, wow, I realize who you are, son, and I didn't, I didn't know that when you were young. Um, uh, okay, I don't want this to turn into, uh, you know, the schmaltzy thing, but it's, uh, this is my mom. This is my partner in crime. Um, I'm a very blessed individual on the outside looking in, um, but not many people know what's deeper than that outside of her. And, a few special people in my life and uh you know it my life may look i was a model i was a baseball player i was and i i got a cool life i do um but just like all of you out there we all have a story we all have a journey and it hasn't always been easy and my relationship with this woman i would do anything for her uh but it hasn't always been easy but that's my mom uh that's my partner in crime and uh, she drives me out of my mind a lot of the time <laughs> But I just, I just remind myself that she gave me life and she gave me the opportunity to do the things that I can now do as a grown man. And the best thing I can do is be successful to, be, to make her proud and to give it all back to her. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, she's got MS. Uh, she took on the world, and and now I want her to stop taking care of the world and take care of herself, and let me go out there and, and pick up where she left off and take on take on the world. And she's just got to sit back and look at that ocean and watch me on TV and just know that. <laughs> <laughs> and just well, the criminal mind's a little too dark for her. She liked to bet on Young and the Restless, but yeah. <laughs> But she doesn't, she's not mad at the paycheck because it's, put, it's, it's putting those waves in front of her window. <laughs> but I, I love you very much and, 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 and Jeff Rose and your show, I, I didn't expect none of this. So um, we don't get to celebrate each other. Uh, we do in our own time, but this is a woman that deserves, deserves uh, for others to take note that she did the damn thing. She busted her, you know what? And uh, what? My hero. My hero. Beautiful. And to sort of connect it to this show, I think you probably just spoke to a lot of moms who are, who are at home right now raising kids, watching this show, one on the arm, one running around, trying to figure it all out. and. And I'm guessing, as a new parent myself, knowing that our kids do grow up, and we do remind, like, the whole time you were talking, I was thinking about my mom. Like, mom, my mom did her own version of that. You know, sacrificing this and sacrificing that. I love what you said, man. I love that you shared it and weren't afraid to share it. All right, when we come back, we're gonna shift it, because he's been talking about baseball. Baseball this, baseball that. I had a dream. I wanted to be a baseball player when I was little. I'm taking Shamar on. We're going to throw baseballs. We've got a pitcher from the Dodgers here who's going to catch for us, and we're going to put a radar gun. That's next. I act like a pitcher. He is a pitcher. <laughs> You're basically... This You're is, Jeff Prost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've moved outside with Shamar Moore because we both had childhood dreams of being a baseball player. You made it to college, I made it to about eighth grade. Yeah. But our dream was to end up like Stephen Fife, who plays for the Dodgers and pitches, who's been nice enough to come out here. <laughs> I act like a pitcher. He is a pitcher. <laughs> You're basically... This You're is, Jeff Prost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll give you the easy version. You'll give us the, the mediocre medium, version. And then the... This is so the real deal. The competition we're going to do, Stephen, is to see who can throw the fastest. We have a radar gun. We have Pete, our stage manager, who will have the radar gun going. 
I'm not going to say I have a big shot at this one. I've lost to Vivica Fox playing basketball. I thought I could beat her. I beat Lisa Lee playing table tennis. But I don't think I have a shot at Shamar, but I'm into this. So, any tips for me? Because clearly, he already played college ball. Do you know how long ago college was? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what are we talking about, 20 years ago? All right, all 20, right. <laughs> give, us the, give us the one tip. Well, I was, uh, we, I was talking to him earlier. He said show the hip, which is precisely what we're talking this about. This is why yep. pitchers do that. Yeah, show okay. the hip, keep the weight back, and then let it come through. What do you expect from me? Velocity-wise? Yeah. Oh. 55? 50, 50, 50, 50, 55? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. What do you expect from a college uh, pitcher? Boy, 42 year old though. You're 26. <laughs> come, come on. Come on. I 42 going on 25. You about it. Could, yeah, he he hit, could he still hit 70? That would be a fast throw. I think he could push up there. 70, 75. Wow. I'd say, yeah. I don't know. All right. All right, get down there. Here we Let's go. Let's go, five. Here we go. I'll warm him up. All right. <laughs> Pete, you ready with the gun? All right. Ah, uh, see, look at that. What was it? 44. 44? <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing strikes, though. That's 54. There it is. Come One on. more. 54. Right, Give it something. Give it something. Oh! Not 58. the pace. Not the pace. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, All right. 58 was my top. I think yeah. you give me one more. Really? Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Come on. Come on. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Do I go back? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. Okay, 60, 62 is my top. That was 62 right. miles an hour. Can right. you beat it on your first throw? First throw? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, people get out of the way. I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. It's going there, All right, I had a lot of heat. Okay. Oh! How much? How much? What was mine? Oh, 62, 69. 69. All right. All right, let's see. It's over. You've already beat no, it. No, no, you got Come on. Go ahead. What did, what did he say I could get? Seven. seven. He said you could get seven. All right, let's just break seven. That's... Uh, I just... Uh, he's a professional, so all right. It's on you. If I hurt you, I'm running the other way. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Seven... 76 miles an hour. Dude, uh, I'll end on that one. That is awesome. Shamar, you're an awesome guest, man. Really. Man, this really. is the coolest Love thing it. I've done in a long time. Thanks for being here. my mom. Thank you. Thanks for you're sharing right. your mom. Yeah. Thanks for Thank kicking you. my ass. Steven, <laughs> thanks for being out here and making it legit. Right. Thank Absolutely. you, man. Nice to meet you. This is cool. Be sure to catch Shamar on Criminal Minds Wednesdays on CBS at 9, right after my show, Survivor at 8 o'clock, giving him the lead in.